Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again to serve up yet another Super Mario video. Very excited always when we get to look at some new Jack-specific Super Mario toys. And thank you to them for sending over their brand new Target exclusive. This is the three-pack of Yoshis. Those are in the 4.5-inch scale. And then the giant 12-inch Let's Go Yoshi. More on him in just a second, because with this Target exclusive three-pack... Well, you get three Yoshis of various colors, right? And you get to see on the back a little bit of a write-up, a little bit uh, yeah, photos of the adorable Yoshis just doing their whole Yoshi thing, right? So you get a little bio for them. They're the little dinosaurs that uh, Mario punches on the back of the head in order for him to shoot his tongue out and uh, eat the enemies or fruits, right, from Super Mario World. Here is the barcode. You can find them in Target stores now. But the one that I'm really excited about is of course the larger 12 inch let's go yoshi and if you've seen my prior video it's a me mario which was my favorite toy of last year one of my favorite toys let's just say that because not only being an incredible huge nintendo fan but these really are uh, just amazing toys that do all the things that the video games do and the packaging is great and it shows off exactly what you get you got 20 plus phrases and 13 points of articulation and of course it tells you a little bit more about yoshi but unlike let's say it's a me and mario it's not about the posing like they had to do to activate like secrets right it's kind of straightforward i'm kind of glad they went that route it's a me, Mario. Now, you can check out my video on my YouTube as well. It was maybe a little bit over the top for kiddos, you know what I mean, in various ways. So I'm hoping they kind of combated that in the new Let's Go Yoshi. And, of course, here is the barcode for Yoshi as well. And this is going to be fun, of course, as always, right? 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for everyone who tunes in each and every day for these wild, crazy toy videos. I very much appreciate it. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target exclusive, the Super Mario 3-pack featuring all three colored Yoshis, and then the giant 12-inch electronic Let's Go Yoshi by Jack Pacific. So we'll kick things off in Yoshi Town with the three amigos box set and if you are a collector of the jack specific 4.5 inch figures you really know what you're getting into they've released a couple of these characters before there's a whole heck of a lot of yoshis we'll just say but it is the standard look for yoshi just different colors and for what is there it is nice it's nice to have the various yoshis a la yoshi story yoshi's yarn all those different video games and yeah like i said it, it's just the standard yoshi articulation there's nothing fancy there's nothing new here however i will tell you this there's no accessories and i really think that adding something to these characters that do something like an action feature like if you pulled yoshi's arm back and he had an open hand and you could fit like an egg in there and it would shoot and launch it forward i think that that would be really cool uh just to kind of change it up because i mean as it is you just kind of get the same Yoshi, same figures. And this three-pack, as nice as it is, right? It's, I mean, it's fairly simplistic. It's just Yoshis with purple shoes and blue skin and all that. You get the idea. There's no tongue action. So in many ways, it's just to say, yes, it's a nice box set. But for me, it really leaves me wanting more. Something that maybe a tongue would shoot out, something like that. So perhaps in the future, because we've gotten so many colored Yoshis as it is right now, some action features would definitely be appreciated. And if you have various Nintendo products from over the years, right? Not just Jack specific, Yoshi, and the nice thing about, let's say, Nintendo figures, toys in general, like, uh, you know, Koopa from uh, Super Mario Brothers movie, they all tend to go together rather well. So these are no exception. Now, with the big mamma jamma, the 12-inch Let's Go Yoshi. Very excited to have this because he's such a great addition if you have like a Nintendo setup. I'm talking about like consoles and games and everything. It just looks cool 
standing there. It's a giant Yoshi, but then he has electronics and he has buttons all over him and he has articulation. And that's what really brings this character to life for me. He's a little bit of a art piece, like a little bit more than just an electronic kid's toy. He is a nice centerpiece that has all this form and function that really emphasizes the fun of all these video games. And from playing Super Mario World and everything else over the years, yeah, he's a great looking toy. He has some articulation in the arms and the elbows. They'll spin at the wrists as well. He kind of has this rocking motion where he will shoot out his tongue. He doesn't shoot out anything, which is kind of a bummer to me. I'll talk about more of that later. But for the sculpt, for the look of this character, for the articulation that they put in, knees, feet, everything else, it just works. On the underside right here towards his tail, you have the battery cover. You can swap out the batteries. And then when you shake him, and if you want to lay him down, he'll do various cool sounds, right? Straight from the video game. And again, that's really a lot of the fun that comes from all these Jack-specific Mario toys. But again, if you want to switch the batteries, it's easy peasy. Up here between his eyeballs, you have this on, off, and try me switch. So when you buy it, it's switched on to try me. But off, that might be good for some parents, right? Picking this thing up after hearing it all day. Just saying, if you touch the nose, it says like pet the nose. That's really cool. He does all the different Yoshi sounds, and that is part of the fun of all these Nintendo toys that I really wish existed when I was a kid. We only had McDonald's. We had like Super Mario Bros. 3. Remember that? And I still have all those. You push his spikes, and that's where it's actually pretty interesting. And again, that's where the off switch, I think, might come in handy for a lot of parents. But for me, yeah, he plays all the various... From what I know it best as, Yoshi's story sounds. And when you move his arms and you thrust forward and it's like he's spitting out his tongue and he makes the tongue lashing sound, I really wish he had a tongue to go with it. You know what I mean? You push the tops of his boots, just like it's a Mia Mario, and you have the shell kicking sound and you have the various Nintendo sounds of him stomping on enemies. And if you keep pushing that type spike, it keeps changing the sounds and they're happy go lucky tunes from the mario universe and it's really not a bad thing at all it's quite enjoyable maybe every once in a while but you know what i mean if somebody comes over and you're playing nintendo games and everything else it's gonna be a nice little showpiece for your older collectors for kids i think you'll get a kick out of this i think that it'll be a nice little fun play toy but maybe more on let's say the older kids almost you know what i mean younger kids might kind of go over their head a little bit. He doesn't do much. That's why I wish that when you kind of rocked him and he went forward, he kind of spit out his tongue. I think that would have been really cool and that would have really emphasized Yoshi. But uh, yeah, he's, he's a cool enough toy, right? And when you pair him up with It's Me and Mario, you see that uh, they're basically the same height. Yoshi is like the smidgenest taller than It's Me Mario, and they both scale well. Now, I will say this. What I think they should do is, if they decide to do another one, maybe do, let's say, Luigi. You know what I mean? I, I would welcome a Luigi, but I think that the bigger size characters, you nailed it with Mario. I can't really say that you have as much fun with this Yoshi. You know what I mean? I think Mario, he just encapsulates all that Mario magic. Yoshi... Not exactly my favorite character. There is a lot of great aspects to this, but when you pair it up with It's a Me and Mario, I'd say all day, go with Mario. But the one thing I really wish they would have done was if there was a way to then put this Mario onto Yoshi's back, maybe give him like a yellow cape and whatnot. But if they could have maybe it worked as a, it's like they take talk to each other, you know, or, or they can exchange lines or something like that. That would have been really cool just to have like a large two figures talking to each other. You know, oh, it's a me, it's a Mario. You know, it's like, oh, ho, ho, ho. and then Yoshi goes like, meow, meow. you know what I mean? That would have been kind of cool. But in showing you the scale, yes, these larger figures, they're 12 inch, really poseable, just like the four inch as well. So you really can't go wrong. If you're lacking on space and such, or if you're missing Super Mario Brothers, the original movie, yeah, you, you can always pick up the shorter figures, right? E either way, you're going to be golden. But in all honesty, while this figure is top-notch, it's got all the different sounds, all the different electronics, 
I again don't think he's quite hits the mark like it's a Mia Mario, but he's still a fun toy. But I think that if he would have had that function where you kind of put him forward and he's got like the well, well, like the tongue thing and a, a tongue actually just a little tongue, something like that, just a little tongue, right? Something like that really would have brought this even more to life with all the sounds and all the music. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at their brand new 12 inch Let's Go Yoshi. And of course, the 4.5 inch World of Super Mario, the Yoshi 3 pack. That's a Target exclusive. And thank you again to Jax for sending these out to give you guys this early, fresh look. Stay tuned for December 1st. We're going to be checking out that advent calendar. Very excited for that. That's going to be awesome. So you've heard my thoughts. Now, I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Jack specific world of Super Mario. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember how friggin' amazing does the new Super Mario Brothers animated movie look. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Ha, 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 ha.